What is up guys, Kaidom here. Today we're going to be taking a look at a new update for Jigsaw Inventory System. Um, this update has some quality of life uh, features, uh, of course, to make it easier to work with um, pretty much everything, uh, including pickups, containers, etc. Um, so the first thing uh, before that though is the ability to loot pickups. So if we walk to a pickup, we can either pick it up as uh, before or as normal or loot the content of the pickup. Using the scroll wheel here, we can uh, cycle between the options that we have. Uh, currently we have pickup and loot. So if I press F there to loot, you can see that I can um, see the content of this pickup. And of course I can uh, treat it as any loot container, meaning that multiple uh, multiple players can loot the same container. And uh, of course uh, you can add items, take items uh, from it. For example, I can put this money right here. And finally I can just scroll down and press uh, or scroll up and do pick up and as you can see everything uh, looks to be the same now this thing can apply to anything even weapons as long as the uh, item has a special container so for example this weapon we can press loot and as you can see we can uh, we can see all of these attachments on the weapon and if you uh, take or add attachments to a weapon for example you can see it apply in the real uh, in the world for example so uh, loot let's say for example this suppressor right here so if i take that suppressor out you can see that it uh, we can see it in the world and of course, if I uh, install it again, you can see it apply as well. So in terms of pickup, if we select this backpack and then open the blueprint, once you open up the uh, pickup here, you can see that the pickup, uh, as before, they have a multiplayer component. And this time uh, we have a if pickup can loot. So if you disable this, then you won't be able to loot the uh, pickup. So for example, some games you might make it so that you can't loot weapons, uh, only backpacks, etc. But for, uh, you have this option right here that you can enable per pickup. Um, you can see here that we have inventory widget class set to the uh, special container of the backpack, and this is going. Uh, we're going to talk about this in a moment uh, when we check out the new utility that should make your life a lot easier. But before we talk about that, uh, you can see here, for example, if we go to this loot container right here. So uh, in order to um, modify the content of this loot container, uh, we know that you know, you need to indicate a ID and a data table reference. So the, this new update, what I did here is that I uh, changed the data table reference, the hard reference with a enumeration or enum. So in this case, you don't have to specify a data table reference. All you gotta do here is just select from the uh, enum or the drop down here and that should be uh, much easier to work with, especially with uh, moving like data tables around. Uh, you don't have to worry too much about uh, references here. Um, so in order to add more options here, uh, you need to go to uh, Jigsaw here. So Jigsaw Utility Helper, this is the new folder you'll find in the latest update of 4.27. So there is a Utility Helper here. We'll, uh, we'll talk about that later, uh, with this one. But for, for the data tables here, you wanna go to data here then we have data table type and these are the types you can add as many as you need and then what you need to do next here is if you add another uh, type so what you need to do here is you need to modify this s final data table reference this is used by the component to find a certain data table reference based on the enum uh, type so you can see here that we for armor we assign the armor data table for um, for weapons, we assign the weapons data table. So this is the only place where you would indicate a hard uh, reference to the data table. Uh, and the system would simply use this struct to find this um, data table reference based on a uh, type. So the main important thing here is that you don't have to uh, specify a data table reference. You can simply, for example here, just simply go, you wanna add a new item, starting items, you can simply indicate in data table, just select from the enum. So this should make it a lot easier to work with data tables. Uh, now moving to the utility. Now before, in terms of weapon attachments, the way we set up weapons is that you would go to class defaults, and then you would set the um, starting attachments or default attachments. So that was kind of uh, tedious to work with. So what we did here is I created this utility uh, JIT container helper. So what you can do with this utility is that you can modify anything that has a multiplayer component. So for example, let's say that I have a pickup here in the world and I want to add or modify its content. So all you got to do here is select or you can right click on the JIT container helper, then run editor utility. So 
So the first thing you want to do here is select whatever you want to work with. It could be even your own character. Uh, if you want to set your character's containers or main containers, you don't have to do it manually. You can add, uh, you can place your character in the map and then select it and use this utility. Uh, for the time being, we're going to try first with the backpack. So this backpack is a pickup. So let's go ahead and select the pickup and then click on refresh. And as you can see, this is the content of the pickup. Once we do that, you can see the content of the backpack. So let's say that I want to add more contents or modify a certain loot container or even a pickup content, I can do that. Uh, or even like a weapon attachment. This section on the right here uh, is kind of a helper uh, to help you out uh, to add items. For example, if I want to add like some attachments here, I can just select the attachments data table. And as you can see here, it also uses the same enum system. Uh, so I can either add a specific item ID or I can just simply add all. Let's say that I want to add like maybe some ammo here. Uh, over here if you want to add a specific item like i said you can just uh, add the item here uh, let's click on set data and now if i go ahead and play and do loot as you can see these are the ammo um ammo that i just added so same thing applies for let's say a loot container i can select the loot and then refresh here and as you can see this is the loot container so it's essentially the same thing as the pickup here you can even modify the content of a backpack inside the loot container or inside another pickup. So what you want to do here is you select, for example, this backpack, and then you can add whatever you want here. You can add it from here or even from here. So you'll see that uh, to show the content of, a, of an item, you can simply uh, click on it. Let's say that you want to add this weapon to this backpack. Of course, first of all, you will select the backpack and click lock here. By selecting lock here, we essentially just make it so that even if you click on the rifle, it, it will always keep the this container lot. So this would make it uh, possible to, for example, add this rifle to this backpack. So if you unlock, now you can select, for example, the rifle and of course modify its attachment. So the main idea here is that we move away from having to type item IDs and data tables and we work with UI instead. This is essentially what the utility is offering here. Uh, in terms of weapon attachments, um, so for example, this rifle right here, uh, it's the same thing. So for the rifle, it's the same thing. We select the rifle, click refresh. This will show attachments of the uh, weapon. Let's say that I don't want it to start with a suppressor. I can just move it here, set data, go and play. And you'll notice that the weapon now doesn't have a uh, suppressor. So the way this utility works is it uses the BP jig multiplayer to set some data here for you. So it's kind of, it kind of does it automatically. You don't have to do it yourself. Um, and we'll see later that when you don't have a certain weapon uh, set up, container settings, it, uh, the utility will do it for you automatically. You can see here that container zero, container one, these were generated automatically. And one more thing here is that you're gonna notice here if I just browse to this backpack, if I place another backpack, then go ahead and loot this backpack, you'll see that the backpack is empty. The reason why is because the default settings inside the blueprint itself are, are different. Uh, so if I select this blueprint, so let's go ahead and delete that. If I select the um, pickup in the world, then access the multiplayer component, you're going to notice here that we have some items here, starting items. Whereas the blueprint itself doesn't. So you can see here that we don't have any starting items. If you want to apply whatever you have in the world, or whatever you applied or added with the utility, to the pickup itself, to the blueprint itself, all you have to do here is select the pickup, or whatever, anything that has a multiplayer component, Select the multiplayer component, this is in the world. And then you want to right click on container settings, copy, and then of course open the blueprint and simply paste. Once you do that, then of course the settings will be then applied to the blueprint itself. So, which means you can place the uh, pickup in the world and have the same exact things. Well, this is only useful for maybe if you want to make some uh, weapon presets. So you can modify them in the map, copy the settings, paste them in a child firearm or child weapon or whatever and then um, you should should be good to go. Now finally, this utility, like I said, it will automatically set your um, container for you. Let's say that I have a weapon that doesn't have any, um, that doesn't have container settings set up. For example, let's, let's go ahead and find this uh, uh, modular rifle and we'll create like a child class or something. Um, so in order to find it in the browser here, I can do control B while, while selecting the uh, pickup in the world, of course. So control B and it will find it in the browser. Uh, let's say that this, uh, I'm going to go ahead and duplicate this actually. 
Um, let's see, Control D or Control W should duplicate it. Let's say module, module Rifle 2, this is just an example. I'm going to open the blueprint and then simply delete the container settings. This is, this should be pretty much the case when you create like a new firearm, for example. Uh, first thing, obviously, you wanna make sure that the container type is pickup and then you can indicate whether you wanna loot it or not. Um, inventory widget class, uh, you need to indicate the special container, but we'll see if, if we don't have one indicated here. This is how it would look by default if you just created a new firearm from scratch. Usually I would just duplicate a, an existing firearm and have pretty much the same settings and just adjust them a little. But this is kind of if you like maybe working with a new pickup system or yeah, so if you just started from scratch. So this right, right here, this module rifle 2 doesn't have anything inside the container. And we'll see how the utility deals with that. So we'll uh, put the uh, weapon and the world. If we play, you're gonna see that the weapon is pretty much naked. So selecting the firearm and going back to the utility, if I cr click refresh, you can see here, it says, please set a widget inside this MP component. So what it's saying here is that this pickup right here doesn't have a special container assigned. I will be making a video about uh, special containers soon, uh, but for the time being, you need to set a special container uh, which will pretty much contain your attachment container. So we have SC attachments. So indicating a special container is everything the utility needs. So if I browse to this special container, you'll see that it is just the container settings. And once again, I'll make a video dedicated to special containers. Uh, for, the, for the time being, as soon as you set a special container here, now we can go ahead and uh, try the um, utility again. So if I click refresh, you can see here, that now it loads the special container and if we actually select the weapon go to the uh, multiplayer component you'll see here that these container settings were filled automatically okay so as you can see here container zero container one etc so feel free to rename those if you want so then i would simply uh, copy these container settings open the blueprint version of this pickup and then paste these container settings right here and that's pretty much it now you can go ahead and modify your pickup here using the utility now just to make sure, click refresh to refresh everything. Now we can go ahead and, make, and add some settings to this or some default attachments to this weapon. Uh, so I can, for example, add a mag uh, or should clear, add all, add a mag. Let's just add a mag and see if it, uh, if it gets added. So click on set data. If I go ahead and play, as you can see, there's the mag right there. So this utility should pretty much uh, make it a lot easier to work with um, the multiplayer component. You don't have to like type data uh, or item IDs, data tables on your own. You can just use this, this utility to um, to make or like to uh, set default attachments or even loot containers. So that's gonna do it for this video. If you have any questions, let me know in the comments below. Uh, there will be more videos about how to create special containers, how to uh, use your own pickup class, or even some integration videos with other um, assets. Uh, if you if you have any suggestions, you can leave them below or in or questions so until then thank you for watching stay safe see you later goodbye